Hello there Pinball fans, welcome back to the Majestic Pinball YouTube channel. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and clicking on this video. Today we're back in the workshop. We uh, have a rather unique machine with us today. This is Super Mario Brothers Mushroom World, which was released by Gottlieb back in June of 1992. This isn't to be confused with the Super Mario Brothers machine, which uh, came out slightly earlier, um, again by Gottlieb. Uh, they released that machine in April of 92. Playful design on this one was by the absolutely iconic Ray Tanza, who made a bunch of great games for Gottlieb. Uh, also including Arena, which has been featured on this channel before, so I will link that in the description if you want to check out another Ray Tanza machine. Now, this game was marketed as the world's first adaptable redemption pinball machine, which allowed operators to choose a height setting of the machine. So on the front of the cabinet, you've got different uh, heights of leg bolts. So the machine can be higher for adults to play it, or it can be lowered down for children to play it. It was really designed to go in Redemption Arcades where you could win loads of tickets. Um, however, it didn't work out too well for Gottlieb. They only sold 519 of these machines, so uh, it wasn't a big hit for Gottlieb back in the day, sadly. Anyway, with all of the machine's history and a bit of rambling out of the way, um, let's get on with how to play Super Mario Bros. Mushroom World. Okay, Mushroom World being a redemption style machine, the idea of the game is to win as many tickets as you can to go and redeem for some fabulous prizes. The way you win tickets on this game is by completing worlds. Now you can complete worlds by shooting for the drop targets. So on the apron here, you've got a lovely array of very early on LEDs. You need to complete worlds one to seven. Once you get to world eight, it's kind of like the wizard mode of the machine, but it literally lasts about five seconds. So it's not really that much to get excited about. However, it's quite easy to get to. So it's quite a nice game to just uh, play through. There's no out lanes on this game. Uh, the only way you can lose the ball is through the middle. And it has the fabulous Scotley post, which is kind of hidden in the bottom of the trough. So quite a lot of the time the ball bounces back anyway. So it's a really easy game. So the progression of the worlds, basically the machine will uh, drop all the drop targets down and pop up a couple. Once you complete both banks, it will progress you to the next world. As the worlds progress, it, the machine will want you to complete more and more drop target sequences to advance to the next one. So it gets slightly harder as it goes by. Now this game does have two ball multi ball, which is absolutely thrilling. Uh, you can progress your multi ball via the uh, boom boom hole. <laughs> Which I guess is this little guy down here, maybe. I don't know. You have the numbers 1, 2, and 3 here in LEDs on this weird kicker thing. If you go on the hole three times, it'll just start multiple. Uh, at any point during the game, you can hit the magic whistle target, which is the yellow stand-up in the center of the machine, which will light your hidden secret ramp thing. As soon as you hit the ball around the ramp, uh, the machine will give you a video mode, a hurry up, or just give you some points. Um, and that changes depending on how many magic whistles you've collected. You also have the princess hole down here, which is just on the left-hand side of the boom boom hole. The princess hole is just an up kicker which shoots it over into the bumpers and it will run a weird bumper activated mode on the DMD. There's a couple of different ones. You have like Raccoon Mario like bashing some some things. I don't know. Uh, it seems to be if you time the bumper hits with when his tail's coming down, it will whack whatever it is and give you some extra points. Uh, another one where Mario's like jumping up and hitting blocks. Again, you seem to need to time the bumper hits to when he's about to hit a block to get extra points. Uh, that's completely random, obviously, because it's in the bumpers. You can nudge around to try and get a few more points, but again, that's really up to the fate of the machine. You have a slingshot on the left-hand side, which nicely fires the ball straight into these targets quite often. Sadly, you don't have a slingshot on this side. I don't really know why. If you do manage to make it to the 8th world, you get a sort of wizard mode with this like weird chain chompy ball thing. <laughs> um, and it's basically a hurry up on the drop targets. So they'll all pop up and then slowly start to drop down. If you manage to hit the one that's lit, it will award you the amount of points that are on the little uh, signpost on the top. It doesn't run for very long, it's literally like 5 or 10 seconds. And if you don't know it's happening, you wouldn't really know that it's doing anything in particular. So, just something to look out for. If you are on the 8th world, uh, you can get quite a lot of points from these drop targets but with all of that in mind that's pretty much it uh, it's a very simple machine this but yeah let's get on with some gameplay
Uh, just to mention quickly, I did forget, uh, off the plunge shot, um, you have this weird, like, slot machine kind of thing going on on the dot matrix. Um, every hit of each bumper will cycle through a different row on the images. Uh, if you manage to line up uh, any of the images, it will give you points. Uh, the star will give you a progression to the next land straight away. Um, again, that's all completely random, but generally, the more bangs on the bumpers you get, the more chance you got of completing the uh, sequence uh, from the uh, plunger shot. So here's the video mode. I find you have to jump really late. So it almost looks like he's gonna fall down the pit. That's when you need to jump. Left flipper button jumps, right flipper button runs. Really easy once you got the hang of it. So I've made good progress already. We're already on the uh, fourth world. This one's super easy, you're just swimming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just said it's super easy and die instantly. Uh, um, that one normally you just need to press the flippers to move up and down and avoid everything. So this is the multi-ball. Uh, the boom boom hole does reset between balls, so you need to get all three holes in one ball to get a multi-ball.
so this is the wizard mode. We've now got to hurry up on the blocks. As you can see, they're starting to drop. That's about it for Mushroom World. Um, basically just do the whole thing over and over again until you win a big pile of tickets. Let's try this one again. So the left flipper moves you up, the right flipper moves you down. Easy. One thing about the video modes is they're kind of boring because they don't change. It's just the same two and the levels don't change at all. Which is a bit of a shame. I mean, they could have quite easily mixed it up and made them a bit more challenging as they went by, but never mind. You have to remember, I suppose, this machine really was made for children, so, you know, it is a bit easier. Mm -hmm. 
three extra balls left so what I'm gonna do because I don't want this game to go on forever and ever and ever is I'm just gonna drain them and here we go this is ball three you have it that was 16 minutes of <laughs> super mario brothers mushroom world um let's tell us how many tickets we won this machine doesn't actually have the ticket dispenser on the front um so we don't win any on this particular one but um let's see how many we won 49 tickets so uh, we maybe would have had enough for a pencil sharpener back in the day <laughs> the redemption counter uh, anyhow that was More no thank you uh, that was Gottlieb Super Mario Brothers Mushroom World from 1992. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Maybe leave a comment with um, a code word. What could the code word be? Mushroom. If you made it this far into the video, please comment <laughs> with the word mushroom. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.